Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video on my channel. So today we're taking a look at a really nice transition, which I use a lot in my cinematic edits uh, and a lot of other creators use it as well. Here's my My Year 2018 video. See here, we got a little speed up and then over to the next clip. Like that speed up and then over to the next one it's called the speed ramp transition you can see another example here so that's the speed ramp transition now we're going to take a look at on how you can make it yourself in Final Cut Pro so to get the best result with this uh, speed ramp transition you should make sure that all of your clips moves in the same direction uh, like here you can see it goes forward and the next clip goes forward and this one goes kind of forward and this one goes, also goes forward. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Just choose the blade. You can also just press B to choose the blade. And then just blade out like this. And then drag it up. To speed up the clip, you just hold down Shift. When you've chosen the clips, hold down Shift and press N. Then you get this green thing. You can retime it. You just take this one and you drag it down drag it up speed it up like that and then let's take a look it looks nice let's take a look at this one you press B for the blade and you just blade it like this press A and then shift N shift N and you speed it up let's take a look at two about 240 yeah, it looks super smooth. And the last one. Drag this a bit out. If you're making an edit, you also want to uh, make sure that uh, you time this to the music. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, it looks super smooth and nice. So that's basically how you make a speed ramp. Works best, like I said, with clips that moves in the same direction. And to make a more cinematic look to it, I'm gonna add on the adjustment tool, which you can also download on my Selfie site, link in the description. And then drag on the letter box, then I'm gonna take the border size up. So now we're gonna color grade a bit, and you wanna put the grade layer underneath the letter box. So you can just choose custom LUT, or if you have color finale, just choose color finale, drag it on top of your grade layer, and I'm gonna add a LUT to this. Uh, I think I'll add the uh, Meyer 2018 LUT, which is out for free download. You do not want to use it on 100%. Maybe use it on, uh, yeah, I think 40% is good enough. So it's out for free download on my Selfie shop. You can also check out the creator's LUT pack with 25 different LUTs and the uh, Maya 2018 LUT is right here. You just go ahead and uh, write in the promo code SVERDEGLOMNES uh, and you will get this LUT for free. So I hope you guys enjoyed this speed ramp tutorial and if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on next Tuesday for another tutorial Tuesday. Peace!